Hey there, Bruins fans. Welcome back to BNG Hockey, where it's always black and gold. The Boston Bruins have signed 22-year-old left-shot defenseman Jeremy Lozon to a two-year contract extension. The deal is worth $1.7 million in total. He's making $850,000 for each season. This is an absolute steal for a young defenseman who is only getting better. Let's talk about it. Lozon is a 2015 second round pick. He's played 23 NHL games, putting up a total of two goals, and is a career plus one. This season with the Bruins, he's played in seven games. He scored a great goal in his very first game of the season, and unfortunately got his first NHL suspension just a few games ago for a hit on Derek Stepan of the Coyotes. That suspension was only for two games, so he is available to be back in the lineup today against the Detroit Red Wings. Now, I want to talk about why this was an interesting contract signing. At the end of the year, Lozon was going to be an RFA, but they get this signing done early and before the trade deadline. I'm wondering if this means that Don Sweeney is going to use a defenseman to help bring in a forward, to help trade David Backus, or just to get rid of some salary cap space. There is a bit of a logjam with Connor Clifton coming back, with John Moore not playing so well, with Lozon being called up. We don't really have to worry about Kevin Miller coming back. He just keeps re-aggravating his injuries, and the Bruins are pretty much done with him. They're just going to let him go at the end of the year when his contract is up. But I really do believe that Sweeney wants to move one of these defensemen. So let's take a look at how this Lozon contract might affect other D-men on the Boston Bruins. The player this contract hurts the most, John Moore. His cap hit is more than Lozon and Clifton combined. For the price of one, you could get two defensemen who are probably better than John Moore. He's had a tough time getting in the lineup lately, and when the Bruins signed him, they had high expectations. He had an incredible last season with the Devils, and he never really brought that here to Boston. Now, you could blame the lack of consistency and the fact that he's been playing more of the right side than his natural left side, I do understand that, so maybe it's just a better thing for the Bruins if they move on from the player and he's able to go somewhere where he can get consistent minutes and find his game again because he's really a solid all-around guy and I think he could bring back that offense if he was getting more minutes. So if you trade him to a team where he can play in their top six consistently, I think he would do really well, but the Bruins just don't need him. Their left side is stacked with Chara, Krug, Grizzlick, and Lozon. On. And if they want to call up anybody else, they have Zaboral and Vakaninen. The list goes on and on and on. And you don't need more playing the right side because you have Clifton, who's a natural right shot. You also have Kevin Miller, but he's definitely not coming back. But he's an option as well. So there's nowhere for more to go. I think that's going to make him a trade chip for Don Sweeney at the deadline. Lastly, I do have to mention that the Bruins could end up trading Lozon. If somebody's really interested in getting him at the trade deadline, but they were worried that he was going to be an RFA at the end of the year and they didn't want to deal with that, now he is signed, so you have that security, and it's at a great cap hit. So if somebody is looking to add Lozon, now the Bruins made him a lot more valuable by adding on the two extra years. I think that would be a mistake. I think this kid has a lot of upside. He's going to be a really solid all-around defenseman, but more of a defensive defenseman, like a Carlo, but I think he has really good offensive upside. He has a killer shot. Go back and look at his goal against the Vegas Golden Knights. It is an absolute bomb. I think he will help the blow of not having Chara on the penalty kill eventually. I think he could pair up with Carlo nicely and play some big minutes on the PK. I would hang on to Lozon. Let me know your thoughts. What do you think of this Lozon deal? Do you think this makes somebody available at the trade deadline? Leave that down below in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a big like, and if you haven't already, subscribe.